Maggie Pipes. Well, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are on this beautiful planet. Hopefully it's not a monsoon where you are. This is the after effects of that uh, tropical storm Henry, or Henry, whatever you want to say. It's the French for Henry. Look at this. It's raining cats and dogs, literally, literally. Anyway, good morning. It is August 23rd, 2021. It is a little after 8 a.m. I woke up this morning at 6. It was pouring. I'm like, no. I lay my head back in bed and uh, readjusted the alarm. And decided, you know what? I'm having a little late start today. On our way to Woodmere on the other side of the tracks. Customers got reading, heat, and bathroom not working. Let's go see what's going on. Stay tuned. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe. And let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. All right, let's go. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. You're expecting me, yes? Yes. Excellent. Radiant and bathroom's not working? Let me explain. Okay, please do. Okay. Um, this was my son's box. But that's not your really concern. Your concern is who's paying him? <laughs> what do I have to do here? Um, he sold the house. Okay. When he lived here, this house was rented for five and a half years. Yes, I know. Wonderful. So you were here the last time? I've been here several times. Okay, good. Okay. So let's go downstairs and I will show you what the story is. Okay. Uh, there's one. In the master bathroom, there's a thermostat. Okay, why, why are we starting downstairs? Why don't we start upstairs? So let me do that. Okay. Okay. This thermostat. Which is not secure on the wall. Right, but this thermostat used to control the radiant in here. Okay. There's another bathroom right in here. Okay. What? Okay. And there was there's a third bathroom on the other side of the upstairs. Okay. Why is it not secure to the wall? I don't remember. Okay. Maybe check the obvious before we uh, dig deep. Is it not secure? Or just it's not uh, put on properly. It was not put on properly. Okay. So now let's turn it to heat. Let's raise it to like 80 something million degrees. And let's see if it turns on the zone. The house is sold, so it's not my son's, but I feel responsible to these people. I want to make sure that I give it to That's them nice. in working order. It's good know? to have morals. People don't have morals anymore. Okay. And here's the, here's the, the source of the, right. the heat. So if you look, you just turned on, I think that says zone six, if I'm not mistaken, am I correct? Zone five, which is second five. floor, second bathroom, floor. radiant. Right. Okay. But when it comes to anything happening, I'm not sure that anything's happening. You're right, nothing's happening. And the boiler is nice and toasty. Circulator is it's not hot. And this is that's hot. You shouldn't really be keeping paint next to the boiler, by the way. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. This is floor air it's the radiant I mean this is the fan coil this is going to be looks like that this is this one they tied it in like this how they did that I don't know how do they do this hot cold mix that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. So the way they made those th that work, I don't know how they did it, but they took the, the mixed water here, mm -hmm. and this is one bathroom floor, and this is the other bathroom floor. 
And this is the return. Here is one return. And here is another return. And this is the return from there, which gives you that hot water, which works, I guess. <laughs> so, so now I'm going to get my thermal camera from the truck and see if the thermostat was the issue. I know the pipe went up. It went to that one. Yeah. It went to the next one. It probably came back. When we finally finished the last bathroom, the plumber said to me, you know what? I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it on the kitchen. No, I should, well, it should have better put it in its own zone anyway, but at least it's on the same floor. Because right. the kitchen is on the first floor, that's in the second, it has no idea. But in the, if you notice, the board just fired back up. Right. Because it's losing temperature, because it's circulating, because the thermostat wasn't on the wall properly. Okay, well, you think I'm, that's a problem? I don't, yeah, but what am I <laughs> No, no, listen, I... <laughs> it's an expensive lesson learned, but, you know, I always look for the obvious things. I, listen, I don't care. I just, I just want to have peace of yeah. mind that I handed it over. Yeah, no problem. In, uh, in good condition. Yeah, and I'll throw some stickers on the board. That way they call me and not somebody else. No, 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 no. <laughs> listen, I, I, I already told you that I said... Mostly I didn't know you guys existed. Oh. But my daughter-in-law, remember, Miriam, Miriam yes. is the one who called you initially. Yes. I was here doing We've something. We've been here a few times. Right. We've been here, let's see how many times. No, no, but Miriam is the one who called you. And I told Four these times. people, I said, you know, I've never met anybody who could not diagnose a problem because the guys who did the air conditioning, I know were, they did a... were, were, I think they were on crack. <laughs> Most, I mean, I, or, 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 or what's, what's the other one? Meth. Yeah, maybe they were mess. Whichever one, but I'm saying <laughs> they were. Uh... So are they moving in or are they moving out? No, no, the new people are moving in. Okay, let me the get a. Uh... truck is coming today. I oh, think. let me get my thermal camera. We'll check out the floor. Right, let's flare I seven out, and as as predicted, we're not going to see anything yet. We have to wait a little bit. We have to wait a little bit. You see, uh, there's a little notch in a tile, the second tile from the back wall. Yes. That's where the radiant goes from this bathroom into the other bathroom. That? Yeah. Huh. Let's go to the other bathroom. No, nothing yet. We're gonna have to wait. The waste spots from upstairs. Yeah was gone. All right, so. It's circulating. See that? And the return. It's gonna take a little while. We'll wait for it. Mixing valve was closed. When I opened it, of course she wants to drip now. Right. And you see any valves here? Well, this is a valve, but nothing here right. and nothing there and no way to purge the two loops independently on this mixed zone. But this is now blazing hot. This is blazing hot. This is warming up, but it's cool, which means it's circulating water back. And so is that. But if it's circulating, then the floor should have picked up some heat, no? Well, again, but it doesn't doesn't happen, like, instantly. So it depends on how thick the floor is, too. And how deep the the PEX is, you know, in the mud. You know, if... The, if I, I know the one in the hallway, you have a... It's like three inches or two inches. That's, right. that's a big, serious lip. So if, if the if the PEX is on the slab, not the slab, but on the, the subfloor, and you have, let's say, two and a half inches, three inches, I don't know why so much mud, but maybe because the floor is so unlevel, right? But if you have that much mud, it's going to take a while for it to pick up. But in 15, 20 minutes, it, you'll, we should see something. That's why I'm waiting to see. Because once I know this is good, then we proceed. We have to get with the cut in valves, the cut in drains. Like, this is not fun. Trust me, I don't want to do this. <laughs> But we'll get it done. Yep, there we go. Bingo. Look at that. So now you, wow, you can even see the loops. Wow. Yeah, thermal camera. That's what happens when you buy a $3,000 machine. <laughs> it works. Look at that. But you can also see the sloppy job they did with it. And is there anything by the toilet? 
No, they stopped. They doing the full time shower? I Probably, doubt I doubt it. Yeah, the right way is doing the shower too. Very, very sloppy job though. Sloppy loops. All right, let's check out the other. Nah, nothing yet. See, we know, so that's that first one. That's the one that's getting hot first. It's the shortest loop. So it's already getting hot and coming back hot. And here, no, nothing. So, Mr. so this thermostat is really calling for that one as well as what you say. Yes. Please. Yeah. And they could, they could have easily have done it without having it that way and independent, independent three of them. You could have, well, not these two because they're, they're looped together, but you could have easily had another thermostat for that bathroom. Okay, it just costs more money, but it's just the controls at that point, but nothing on this floor. And like I said, it's a moot point because I got to change the mixing valve, which means I got to drain everything down, which, and then fight the air. All right, it's been about another 20 minutes or so using the FLIR i7. Here is a cold return, and this is a hot return. We definitely have some air in there, which, which is preventing circulation. And this mixing valve right now appears to have stopped leaking, All right? But it was dripping before, and plus it's set too high. I gotta adjust that. And to adjust that, you take the cap like this, and you stick it in there like that. See? And then you turn. All right? And that's when it starts to drip like crazy. See? <laughs> so we're replacing the mixing valve. And we're going to throw in a, bunch, a series of valves here to, uh, to try to make this work. And let's see how many valves we do need. So I need to put one here to isolate this side of the boiler the return side i need one i need one i need another one here or no i need another one hmm let's figure this out supply in mixed that leaves there so i want to have i need to put a valve here all right, so water leaves this way, goes there. We could put valves there and then a T, I guess somewhere here to force all of the water out. Okay. And look who magically appeared, Daniel's son. All right, I have the boiler power off. All the zone valves are closed. We have a ball valve there to isolate the return. And we have all of these valves, return valves closed. And I was just taking a peek at things. Like this is the valve for this radiant return. We're gonna open this up, right? And, but I was taking a look, like all this tie-in mess here, but then there's that. Look at that. That was there at one point, this is the kitchen, right? And the guy who put it in was, I don't know, I guess he wasn't playing with a full deck of cards. All right, Danny, we forgetting to do anything? I'm gonna tell you what we're forgetting to do, right? Right here, right? Boiler feed valve. We're gonna close that, yeah. right? So, yeah. Smart, so you'll learn. Now drain. And then we're gonna have to somehow putz around with it. We got the drain, oh, this really sucks, by the way. Just spitting out. Just stick the hose in the bucket. You don't have to hold it. There you go. See? It's all good. <clears throat> this is gonna be a big, a big job. Big job. All right. I'm gonna see what happens when I crack this open. Do I want to crack this open? Not really. But I probably should. Is there a check valve in this? No. No, 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 no. Actually, you know what? Open up that valve. Yeah, open it up. We're gonna get some water there. All right. Okay, good. Let's open up this. There's a lever there on the Honeywell. 
Right there. See that lever? Yeah, it's just open. It's, now it's held open, manually open. See right now, it'll Close. spring back. See now it's closed. Yep. And with resistance, that means it's closed. If there was no resistance, that means it's open or, you know, getting power. So we're gonna hold that right there. And I just wanna get some water the drain out of there. And let's see, you know, if we, I think I'll hold this up there. You may wanna close that for a second. Let's put this right here and see if we can get anything out of here. If you want, we can take that hose and put it here and drain. So I was explaining to Daniel that when you have a crimp ring like this, right? More than likely, Daniel, when you have a crimp ring, this is called PEX B, right? There's two different types of PEX. It's PEX B and PEX A. PEX A is expansion PEX, right? And PEX B is, is crimp or ring PEX. And they also have another one with these other rings that go around the whole thing and use a tool, but just for the sake of argument, PEX A, PEX B. This is PEX B. And, oh, I was going to use the, I wanted to show you this, but I can't because this is, that's a PEX A uh, valve, which I can't use on PEX B. This can't expand. If I put the tool in here, it's going to destroy the PEX. All right. So, see that mixing valve, Mike? There's one right behind you okay. in the box. Is it still there, the white box? White box? Right, right box. We're gonna swap out that mixing valve, it's bad. I have most of this drained, that's open. The problem is second floor bathrooms um, weren't heating up. I opened up the, 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 the mixing valve, it started to leak water. And then one got hot and one didn't because we have air and by magic is the only way this thing, this thing worked. There's no way to purge out each loop individually. There's two loops for two two sets of bathrooms yeah. of one mixing room. this is called the eye crimp pex clamp cutter and oh, it's gonna cut off the bathroom yeah it's gonna cut that off right there so it's a crimp and a cutter in one no it's just a cutter it just cuts the pex rings courtesy of uh, my friends at supplyhouse.com. Real people, real service. They're not a sponsor of the channel, by the way. But they sent that to me for testing. See? By eye crimp. Good stuff. Did it actually work? No. You cut it off, but it doesn't... Uh... <laughs> you still gotta break it off, though. It is easier though. What would be the alternative? Uh, uh, screwdriver. Or screwdriver or grinder. Um, make sure you wear your safety glasses. Easy heating and air. Easy. He's a retired keyboard mechanic. Oh, he's a AKA, yeah. AKA, um, uh, uh, what was it? Armchair, armchair uh, comment. He's a nice guy, though. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Oh, you see, you should wear safety glasses, Mike. So, do you have anything exciting this weekend, Daniel? My gerbils died. You what? My gerbils died. You, you have gerbils? Yeah. Oh, God. How many gerbils do you have? Two. And they both died? Yeah. Why did they both die? Respiratory infection. Oh, they both had it? Yeah, I gave it to them. Oh my God, you must, you're evil. Well, I didn't mean to. Yeah. So you had an upper respiratory infection, right before you started, if I recall correctly. Yeah. And you gave it to your gerbils. Mm -hmm. But you also have other animals too, right? I have a fish and a lizard and we have a cat. Any dogs? No, no I'm dogs? allergic. You're allergic to dogs. Yeah. But cats you're not allergic to? A little bit, not as bad. Dogs, I like actually can't breathe. <laughs> I get like if they want me too much. Yeah. Or if they like lick me or whatever, I'll get a rash. If a dog licks you, you'll get a rash. Wow, mm -hmm. it's crazy. That's nuts. not yet. Hold on. Hold on. Is that closed? Um, nope. Close that. All right. Now. 
Let's open up. That was five valves. What? That was five. Oh yeah, make sure you close that too. Okay. And now that's five valves. Supply back, I think. Oh, that's right. We could do that now if you want. Supply, supply. Yeah, that yeah. one and that one, yeah. Mm. Two more valves. All right, now we're purging. Closed, open, closed, closed. All right, you can stop that. Let's empty this bucket. Should just uh, find the bathroom. Is there a bathroom down here? No? Oh, that sucks. Where's the nearest bathroom? Uh, on, the, on the first floor. I guess that died. All right, so we're good there. Now let's let's close. Let's open that. Let's put this here. Let's close this. Let's open this. And now open that. All right, and then check your pressure. We're gonna purge out the kitchen loop, which is not gonna be able to do right now until I open up this. The zone valve for the kitchen to allow water to flow through the mixing valve and out the return there. I don't know why they did that, but when they realized they put it there, it wasn't working. First floor reserved, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Reserved. All right, this is a lie because look, they're both on. They're both on. Now we're gonna see if we get hot on the floor on both returns. Daniel, it says you're hot. <laughs> Your forehead is 96.1 degrees. <laughs> oh, you gotta have the right tools for the job. All right, let's see. Any change yet? Yes, we have success. And look how sloppy the job that is, by the way. Look at that. They just put the pecs in like that, like slobs. Come look. See? They did a real shitty job, by the way. All right, let's check the other bathroom. Yes. Oh, God, horrible. Look how horrible this is. What are they, what are they, it's crossed there? Are you allowed to touch them together? No. No, <laughs> oh my God. Look at that huge gap right there. Oh, it's just disgusting, bro. Look, this is all cold here. Psst. I don't get it. You spend the money and you hire these hacks who do it wrong. It's really disgusting. And last but not least, this one worked before and it's working again now anyway. Look at that. Wanna play with it? No, here, yeah, touch, hold, use it, it's a tool. Okay, Good check out the uh, kitchen floor. How are we looking? See? Very nice. Oh, there's no Wi-Fi. All right. Finish them up. It's a little after 10.30, so two and a half hours on the job. Place the mixing valve and cut in eight, eight valves on that PEX, and one of the eight is for the drain. So we're good to go. Got them up and running and visualized with the FLIR i7 thermal imaging camera that it now works, and we don't have to wait, you know, sit down and play around with our hands on the floor. 
need the right tools for the job, getting the job done. You know what I mean? And yes, a little bit of everything, guys. A little bit of everything. Even Michael Bolton. <laughs> Happy Monday. Be well. God bless. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. That is the absolute best way of supporting this channel. And if you would like some free stickers, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. Hats, shirts, magnets, all that good stuff. Details in the description box down below. All right. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.